Hello and welcome. In the next five minutes, I will demonstrate some of OnCommand Insight's discovery and performance capabilities for today's enterprise hybrid IT environments. First, let's take a look at dashboards. Dashboards are flexible views into the inventory and constructs of your environment. Let's take a look at inventory. Here we have an inventory dashboard that's being displayed and it's going to give us information about our storage arrays, vendors and models, serial numbers, switch ports, whether it be the state, the status, the negotiated speeds, information into our host and hypervisors as well as virtual machines, VMDKs and data stores all the way down to the spindles or disk. Now these dashboard widgets have a number of different flexible options for them when it comes to aggregation and roll up groupings of the data, summarizations and calculations, as well as being able to provide just the simple information of what do I have in my data center. By selecting the checkbox, you see here we get a breakdown of all the EMC systems or storage arrays in my environment, as well as Hitachi, NetApp, HP, 3PAR, Pure, as well as many, many more. Now let's take a look at our Amazon dashboard for our EC2 performance. Here we have a dashboard displaying the last 24 hours of metrics and we're looking at EC2 performance for CPU utilization, latency or IOPS. We're looking at our mins, max, 25th percentiles and 75th percentile performance information. And then we're trending this information over time, whether it be the last 24 hours or 30 days, and we can get up to 90 days of granular data. Now we can also do areas of reclamation where we're looking for VMs or EC2 instances that are not powered on or maybe volumes that are stranded or orphaned in the environment that are not currently being used. There's a number of views that you can bring in to dashboard and operational intelligence. Now let's move forward and look at some of our anomaly detection capabilities. This is our machine learning and being able to identify anomalous or deviations in normal behavior in the infrastructure supporting your applications. Here in OnCommand Insight, we have four applications that have anomaly detection enabled. Let's take the Exchange server here, which has received a 96 score for anomaly, and we can see when that a deviation or behavior happened. And just simply by clicking on this, it will give us the details into the infrastructure that's supporting your application. Here in the upper left hand side is the complete infrastructure stack that's supporting this application. You see we have 417 compute resources, a number of hypervisors, storage nodes, and volumes. Indicated by the blue lines are areas that we've detected anomalous behavior. By selecting the object, you'll see the type of object that is being indicated as well as its score. On the right hand scoreboard, we see when the occurrence happened. Now, we have a number of performance expert timelines down below, as well as all the summary details for the infrastructure or constructs supporting this. But what we're going to do is actually leverage on Command Insight's correlation capability to actually understand and find out why this is acting abnormally. So by simply selecting the virtual machine here, we'll navigate to the virtual machine landing page where we get all the summary details, the power, the guest state, the data store it resides on, as well as all the capacity and uh, efficiency information. And below here, this little red dot here is indicating that we have a policy violation that I potentially could have received an email, SNMP, or syslog alert. And we can see that we have 10 milliseconds of average latency with a peak or a max of 450 milliseconds. On the right hand side, we have the end-to-end -to -end topology. So the virtual machine, the host that it resides on, the switch connected to it, which happens to be brocade, and the back-end storage array. Now I'm going to drive your attention over here to the right hand side, which is our correlation analysis and what we're doing here is looking at everything that's logically and or physically connected to this virtual machine and ranking it based on its contribution and this is looking at contention in the environment so anything that's impacting IOPS latency utilization buffer to buffer credits or even hypervisor CPU and what we have is a scoring of 96 percent for this particular volume so by clicking the 96 percent correlation ranking analysis, I see that the VM's latency is 96% correlated to the latency being felt on this particular volume. The way we confirm this is by simply selecting the checkbox here and what it will do is overlay the performance of the volume on top of the latency for this vir virtual machine. Now I hope this little demonstration is helpful on how some of the correlation and anomaly detection works in OnCommand Insight. And if you want to learn more, please go to www.netup.com and look up OnCommand Insight to get further details. Thank you and have a great day.